Hey guys, my name is Sam Snight, and welcome back to Vampire. Now we are. We're gonna go find Sean Hampton because apparently he's a real dickhead and he's like eating people and whatnot. You know, my thing. And I ain't having that. I already ate one person on purpose, one on accident. Is everyone else like. You're fatigued. I'm working on it. Okay. Everyone, whoa! I don't know how to cure headaches, but you deserve death. Oh, you have a cold. I can't kill you anyway. Are these the docks? Oh, he has a migraine. Oh, that sucks. I haven't met like anyone from the docks. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. Bro. You gotta realize this is a silly, silly choice. I'm mad that he's still alive after that. Like, very mad. Oh. I didn't want any of this. I'm just looking for someone. And it ain't you. Trying to get my mesmerized level up, but I found out the only way to do that is to. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Time out. Did I just find the last. I think I did. Main quest, citizen menu. Yes. Whitechapel. West End. Okay, so it's stable over here. That's fine and dandy, but I don't need to be over here, do I? You know, mindlessly killing people is fine, but like doing it all the time it just is, is, isn't as appealing as it sounds at first. That's not a very nice thing to call me. I'm clearly your superior. Hmm. I'm getting good at that. Not gonna lie. Again. All I'm doing is just blocking the shit you keep throwing at me. I'm just doing this so I can heal up, bro, him. I would like to not fight anymore. Like, that's my preference. But, whatever floats your boat. Can I get up there? I feel like I should be able to get up there. I feel like that's something I should be able to do. What's the map say? This is a straight up dead end. Can I go through the houses? Can I go through a single house? I'm finding stuff by trying to get in. just feels wrong that I can't go in there. I'm fine with it. I'll find my way around. Just didn't really want to have to, that's all. Mm. I'm just gonna kill him because I know I ain't got any other choice. Ah, actually, wait, people you can get away from. He's dead. 
Yep. I'm gonna kill you next. Gotta regen some of that stamina. That's what the bites are best for, I've noticed. That's what I use bites for anyway. It's a gap, a safe gap, damage free gap. To, uh. Okay, there's a bridge right up here. No. Man, look. I just. Oh, God. Better go home, sir. Stop now! Oh, shit. Best turn around if I were you. Boy. Ow. Ow. Whoop. And whack. Whack. Damn it. Whack. 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 I tried to kill one, okay? And I ended up getting hooked. Oh, there's two more boys coming. that not happen anymore, please? Who are you? I'm just gonna walk up. Mm, don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice. Damn it! How do you even know? You can't even see my eyeballs. Nice. I don't care about the docks at all. So I'm. I'm... Okay, let's see what we can figure out. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. Y you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Oh, I tell you. Tangy. Tangy, I'm gonna need to ask you to leave, bub. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? These people As I do. just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, miss... Miss Edwina Cox. She said so Cox. <laughs> Fancy buying something from me, maybe? What? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money. Oh, I needed these. I don't know if I needed anything else or not. Oh, I can sell stuff. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. The sad saint? Yes, he was. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. This guy. Mark Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. 
You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back, and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. I think I killed that. A sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmort. Oh, his name's Ichabod. Vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Thro Bob Morton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Can I mesmerize him? No. I'm looking for Sean Hab Sad Saint. He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a I know him. Goodbye. I'm gonna kill him. Gotta make a point. Good evening, Tom. <coughs> Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. <laughs> Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Oh, lots of experience. The docks are where it's at, bruh. Stable, no monsters running around. Mega experience for everyone around. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. I kill a person or two here. Oh, stuff. Give me those. Give me that. Let me whoosh over there. Seems like the guard of three one is on Sean Hampton's trail, too. That's bad. Die, 
I'm in a lot of pain. By you now, bitch. This is rough, rough stuff. Damn it. Oh yeah, you're gonna die now, bitch. Okay, so you're not quite dead, but I'm coming after you now. Got him. Cover all that stamina. Get some blood back in you, too. Kill him. Ah, oh, and that's a wrap for Jimmy the Spark. I think that was his name. Anything to loot? The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Gotta find him, though. Oh. No, oh, a hunt. How the fudge do I get up there? Oh. Or what? I was up there, now I'm not, and I would like to continue to be. I don't know where to. Oh, okay. I always bite when you're out of stamina. Always. <laughs> always. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I haven't been talking very much this episode. Ow. Uh. I feel like, uh. I feel like we need to get to some, like, really big key plot points because I feel like nothing giant has happened. Like, uh, I know the vampire hunters are starting to, like, come after the hospital. But, like, that ain't enough. Like, that's it? That's all you got? Vampire hunters are coming now. I'm killing a vampire hunter as, as we speak. I ain't too worried about it. That was easy. Ooh, what's in here? Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Definitely feels that way. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Oh, hey. Turn around, sir. I did. Oh, I'm talking to you, you twat. This one's mine. <laughs> I 
like a better weapon. Like soon. It's time for a better weapon. Like, I've been collecting stuff for a long time. I feel like it's time for a, a big boy upgrade. Following the blood trail. Is this a safe house? It is! I still don't know what refill all does. Uh, I have a lot of experience now that I'm looking at it. Let's see, can I upgrade this? This... <coughs> I can. Decrease stamina consumption. That's good, because I'm always running out of stamina. So anything I can do to ease that, I'm going to do it. Alright, let's see what we can upgrade. Let's see what we can uh, juice up. 14, can I get more stamina? I can. That was all of my points, though. Uh, what is it? Level 16 is the next one. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to cancel that. It's the best thing that's ever happened. Man... Stamina, without it, everything falls to pieces. What's happened? Did I break anything? That seemed to be good so far. Lot. Oh, I'm level 15. Alright, even more stamina. At this point, I don't really need more. That's a lie. I always need more. What? Hard enough to cover the docks by myself. What? What? Find Sean in the area. There he is. The long face, Doctor. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. I'm gonna kill him if, if I can. you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. You give it... Oh, no. Okay. So, I, I'm assuming we're about to find the sewer dog, like, officially. So let's 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 see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. I'm doubtful. I even expressed to him I was doubtful. Oh hey. 
You know, here's the funny thing. I really don't want to deal with you three right now. I feel like there's more coming. How are you almost dead? <laughs> I knew it. I need like good handle parts and stuff. Oh, are you mad? You upset? Find the sewer entrance. It's probably right by all the bad guys. Snap it, bitch. Want some of that? See, they, they they got other shit going on. See, this is how you, uh... I've been here already. <laughs> Give me that on the ground, thank you. Damn! Okay, so I feel like the sewer entrance... 18, 19, 18. Okay. Can I go in here? I can't. Alright, well... You're dead, bitch. I'm just hungry. Stop, vampire. Hey, You're messing with my blood supply, bitch. I don't take kindly to that shit. Ow. Here we go, Scuba. She's like asleep right there still. Extra ammo will be stored in your stash. I don't I don't think I paid attention during the gun part of the class. I don't remember much of what's going on. I just don't. Freaking wrist hurts, man. Itchy. Ooh. I'm really digging where the story's going right now, man. Not a lot of big things, like I said, have happened, though. And that's... I feel like that's what we're leading up it's to right now. All right. 
I think we're about to actually find the sewer dog. At least I hope. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Why was that an angle that happened? Not sure. Oh. Whatever happened to the running water thing, the vampires? It should shut properly. I didn't know I needed to shut a gate. I'm literally just exploring blindly. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, got it. Now does it work? Huh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. My fiance texted me. I'm on the way home with a heart emoji. I'm happy she's coming home. I miss her. She's always at school or at work. I, and I, I'm at work. So it's kind of messed up. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to get sad. <laughs> I'm having a good time here playing vampire. I feel like I haven't been talking though. Very much. I should probably start talking more. Um, excuse you. I feel like we're about to find the sewer dog, man. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yum, 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 yum. Tasty. Nice. Okay, what exactly am I searching for down here? It's locked. It's always locked, bro. What was it running from? These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Uh-oh. Learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. <laughs> I got you! Oh god, this is about to be a fight. <laughs> I don't want to take too many hits from him. Wow. Yikes. Is this sewer dog? I gotta beat him into yes, this. Uh, this Ascalon bullshit's gotta stop, bruh. Ow. 
I'm, I'm just healing right now, if you'll excuse me. Got you. Foolish Echon. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Shall tear the heart of snow by blood to the pissing well. Your blood is now mine. Where are you? Oh, you're there. Locking on to this guy was the best thing I ever chose to do. Yum, 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 yum. That was a waste down, of blood. Stay down. I shall crush you. I just got full health, bitch. Yep. Where'd he go? I don't think you've been paying any attention. You're dead! <clears throat> Drown, bitch. <sighs> that was something else. It's locked, all right. You gonna wake up? At least one skull escaped to Fergal's wrath. Why? And when did I name his name? Was Fergal? Man, there was a place to teleport up there, and I I didn't, because I thought it was the the story progressing way to go. But now I'm seeing that that is incorrect. Oh, it might have been correct. I don't know. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. What's going on? Bless you, Bridget. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. What's going on here? Hello. Hi, I'm here. Talk to me. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. So you're the sewer dog I've been told about. But who are you, really? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Echon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Echon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. 
So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can <coughs> he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the sewer skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. So business understand. as usual then. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Now I want to see, I want to see the creepy old lady. She's healthy. I'm going to go ahead and take the stuff out of your room real quick. Just okay now. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm. Yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor, so full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it, brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent. But it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. 
I'm tired now. Let me rest. So, what? Oh, hello. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I like her. I like her a lot. Oh. Like, I know skulls are supposed to be like bottom feeders or whatever. But, like, I like them. The ones that don't try and eat my face off. It's locked. I cannot enter. Yes, I can! Use the workbenches and hideouts to craft new treatments and serums or to upgrade your weapons. Now look, I want a new weapon. Like, mine's like level 3 now, and it's like not killing stuff as fast as I would like. I didn't mean to knock over the camera. It might be a little wonky. I should be fine. Rest just right here. So who is the sewer dog exactly? Is it old Bridget or was it big, big boy? I don't know for sure. I don't know. Oh. Thanks. Oh. God. It's a uh, nice place. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Why the intense music? He's a good... Oh. Are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You're harboring monsters under the beds of your clients. That takes some nerve. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. 
I'm certain you've killed no one, but He's one eating day raw flesh. I you'll cross the line. Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I haven't the luxury of being able to satisfy my hunger on staunch blood and lifeless flesh. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. I really would like to believe your fairy tale. The good ghoul feeding upon the flesh of the dead. But I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May your soul rest in peace. A night will come when you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely. A friend will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! no. Ah, I did! Ah. Yeah, I straight up didn't trust that guy. Had absolutely, uh, ooh. Holy shit. Okay, so. I might have done something bad. You know what? No. I stand by that. <coughs> Dude's like eating dead people, and I mean, I get it. I'm eating live people, but like. Was he a pillar? Was he a pillar of the community? Oh god. Okay, so no one else can be eaten from the docks. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Uh I need to turn around. I need to hang on before Okay, let me let me I'm scrambling now cuz I didn't realize he was a pillar of the community. But at the same time he was gonna he was gonna eat people I know this brooch this is my mother's a birthday gift from father all right it's time for me to save 29 pretty orchard street that's near poplar's district why would this man carry off my mother's brooch I must go there after I save, <laughs> this district's status is about to be very unstable. Like, very. How, where is the save room? Where do I do that at? I didn't trust that boy. I feel like he was gonna. I don't know. Anytime they get really like above and beyond with religion, I start to distrust them. 
I don't know why, but that's just the way it seems where, like, you can be religious all you want, but once you start getting high and mighty with it, and then you start preachy, preachy, like, conceited, I'm better than everyone, preachy, and he's like, just, God this, God that, God everything, it's like, alright, alright, something's up. I just didn't trust it. And there's like two other people in this game like that. Where is the... Okay, it's apparently straight the way I'm facing. Ooh. It's out this way? Yes. I'm just worried because I'm about to see the district status drop. I'm afraid of how much it's going to drop. I'm fine with dropping it a little bit here and there. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. But damn, I took out a pillar. Got me right there. Hey, Scoob. First, can I upgrade stuff? I need more things. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what I can upgrade. Oh boy, 5,000 experience. Alright, can I do stamina? No. I do need more health, though. Trying to do one of everything. I'm now level 17. Oh, shit. I want that stamina upgrade right there. I might go for health instead. I'm almost level 18. Alright. I'm really nervous about this one. Oh, God. Death of the Sad Saint. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, it's in critical. We're from stable down to critical. Oh, that's critical too. Okay, they're stable. So I've seriously screwed up. Except I didn't. I stand by that he needed to go. Uh I do stand by what I did. Uh okay, that's <coughs> that's time to call it for this episode. That's one hell of a finale. So we are upgraded, we are moving on, and be sure to check in for the next one because I want to see you there.